Hi guys and welcome to this our video on Hamiltonian paths and cycles. Now again, if you are new to my channel, how, what took you so long? Yes, where have you been? No, I'm just joking. My name is Darren from MathsGuru.com and it is my honor to be able to teach you maths in a fun, entertaining and way that you are, trust me, never gonna forget. If you don't have a therapist now, you're certainly gonna have one soon. The only thing I ask for you watching this video is to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on TikTok at MathsGuru. Yes, I'm TikTok. I know I'm old and yes, I do a couple of lip syncs and it's a little bit weird and strange. But anyway, if you can follow me, then it just lets me know that someone is watching. There are so many videos out there of made more interesting things than maths. It just lets me know that I'm not sitting in a room talking to myself, all right? So if you can do that for me, it sounds very desperate, doesn't it? God, I sound needy. If you can do that for me, great. I'm never going to be rich and I'm certainly never going to be famous but I just need to know that people are watching these things. Now, what are we dealing with? Graphs and networks and theory. The videos are getting exciting now because we're about to get into the real stuff, but one last video dealing with language. And that's Hamiltonian paths and cycles. The last video we were dealing with Eulerian trails and Eulerian circuits, and Euler meant that we were dealing with edges. Today, we are looking for Hamilton. Now, when I did a quick thingy, a little, you know, uh, uh, Google search for Hamilton, what came up, but the musical. I hate to say this, I did not get it at all. It was too long, yes. Oh, unpopular opinion. I know, if you want to leave a comment, tell me what I miss, how great it was, it's fabulous. Yes, I've got Disney, I could watch it endlessly, but uh, I just didn't get it. A little bit overhyped, and I saw it in London. Mm -hmm. Go figure. But anyway, wrong Hamilton. As far as I'm concerned, I have no idea who this Hamilton is, right? He's probably some famous mathematician like Euler, but we've been dealing with walks and trails and paths and cycles and circuits. I know, the little picture of the dog, that's what you noticed, wasn't it? That was me going silly billy, all right? I'm not trying to talk down to you, it's just, what else am I going to talk about? Now, Hamilton in this situation was a dude who said, well, if Euler's got edges, I'm going to deal with vertices. So first things, and most important is, Hamilton has vertices. It'd be brilliant had his name been Vince, because we'd have gone Vince and vertices, but his name is Hamilton. Let's just pretend his middle name was Vince, okay? But he's dealing with vertices. And again, we can have a Hamiltonian path, which basically does not start and end at the same vertex, or we can have a Hamiltonian cycle, which will start and end at the same vertex. So for your summary book, what have we got here? A Hamiltonian path must pass through every vertex in a connected graph. Now again, connected, no loners. It may or may not involve all of the edges in the graph. So again, it doesn't have to involve all of the edges. You could just go around the outside if needs be. A Hamiltonian cycle, again, we know that cycle, wheels, start and end, made that up, but a cycle starts and ends at the same vertex. Again, it would have to go through all of the vertices, starting and ending at the same one. Now, why would we need to know this? Again, I might want to one day head out into the great outdoors in the burning sunshine with the animals here that can kill you and the locals, which, and no, I'm just joking. And I may decide I want to go to Bendigo and Halls Gap and Horsham and Starwell. Is that how I say it? Anyway, and I've got no idea. Oyen? Oyen. Anyway, I may decide to go to all of these places. Probably not, because I can't pronounce half of them, but anyway. How am I going to do it? Well, I want to find the best way to do it. I don't want to take hours and hours to do it. So if I can do it in some sort of a loop, that would be awesome. Alternatively, I might one day decide to work for DHL when teaching just gets too much for me, or talking in a room on my own gets too much to me. But anyway, if I go and work for DHL, they're going to give me a load of packages to deliver. And again, I've got to find the best way to be able to do it. Now, I don't know about you, whenever I order anything, you can guarantee I'm last on the list. Even if I was next door to the depot, I'd be last on the list. But someone somewhere earns a lot of money, and I mean a lot of money to do logistics. And that's basically saying to the drivers every morning, here is your route. Uh, or route. Uh, I get very confused with that word in Australia. But the point of it is they leave and they go to places and deliver all the packages in the best, the cheapest and the fastest possible way. So all of this actually is really important for a career if you want to go that way. Now, it's about the nuance. This math course is about the little stuff for your summary book. So a Hamiltonian path involves all of the vertices but not necessarily all of the edges, all right? So if we look at this one here, that actually is a Hamiltonian path. Why? Because I'm starting at A, I'm going to all of my vertices, 
but I'm missing some of my paths. That's fine. I wouldn't necessarily have to go along all of those, sorry, edges. What about the Hamiltonian cycle? Well, again, we've got to, and that should say cycle, C-Y-C-L-E, we've got to visit all of the vertices. But again, I don't have to do all of the edges, but with a cycle, I've got to start and end at the same place. So I'd be interested you pause the video in just a moment and see with this diagram where there is an error, all right? So again, there is, in my view, an error here. And again, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments, but I'm fairly sure I'm right. I think a part of this graph is colored in that it doesn't need to be. Did you pause? Don't worry about it if you didn't, right? So they've already told me we're starting and ending at A. So I'm gonna go A to C, then down to F, then along to E, then to D, then to B, and then to A. See what happened there? Right, well, in fact, I don't think that bit there should be colored or that bit there. Now, maybe you can go around it in a different way. Maybe you can go from A to C to D to B to C to F to E to D. I mean, I don't know why you would do that. It would be nuts. Because ideally, you don't want to repeat vertices either. But a cycle, cycle starts and ends at the same place. Now, now the rules for this, there's always rules in math, isn't there? Mm, no, not for this one. Sadly, you have to do it by inspection. There's nothing as nice as Eulerian stuff. He obviously thought about it. Hamilton was just like, hey, up, I need something named after me. What can I possibly do? Maths, I don't want maths. I just want people to visit places. That's it, isn't it, really? I know, I get nothing for this, and that's probably why. That's why nobody subscribes. But nope, sorry, not for this one. You simply have to use trial and error. And believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of this video. Hamiltonian paths and cycles are relatively simple and hopefully they will set you up. My name's Darren. Let people know about this video if you can, if you really, really, really have nothing better to do, but subscribe. Follow me on tip to uh, TikTok um, and maybe I'll see you in another video. If not, you guys, please stay safe and take care.